I'm in Grafton, Wisconsin today, about 25 miles north of downtown Milwaukee, about two blocks north of the Grafton Dam. Now, I've never paddled this part of the Milwaukee River before, so I don't know what to expect as far as how strong the current is going to be. Um, if I'm being really optimistic, I'm going to paddle all the way to Sockville, which by vehicle is about four miles, by river more like six, plus I'm going against the current and there's north wind at about 10 miles an hour. So that might be a little bit um, optimistic to think I can do that. I mean, I can do it, but it'll probably take the better part of two hours. So we'll see what I can do today. I have my 12 foot boat with me today, the Perception Tribute, because of its portability, taking it on the highway without any worries at all. This boat was my first boat and I named her Barchetta. All my kayaks have names. There's Barchetta, Belisama, Salacia, Narmada, and Doris. It's hard to tell by looking at the surface of the water, but I've got a bit of a current here. I feel like I'm at a snail's pace going up river. Ooh, another paddler. I was hoping to do this weekend is a bit more of an urban paddle from Shorewood all the way downtown. But I've been watching the water levels and I'm just going to wait for a time of year where the water isn't so high. being on a treadmill right here. Hardly going anywhere. There's a little spot here I could dodge in. Looks like a tiny little tributary. I don't think I can go very far, but it'll be a nice break from paddling. Cause that's some current right there. Nice little place to have a drink, have a bite to eat. It's an interesting dwelling. Kinda looks like shipping containers, maybe. Looks like something I should have found at Devil's Lake. Let's see if I can grab it. I've discovered an ancient artifact from a past civilization. Or the tool of a devil. Sweet. That's coming home with me. Alright, I goofed off in the creek for a little while. It's time to face the current on this bad boy again. Ugh. I do hope this river gets a little wider up here. This current is no joke. Day and there's no way I'm going all the way to uh, Sockville. Oh, no wonder I haven't seen anybody else going upriver.
literally not going anywhere. I gotta find a place to turn around. So annoying. <sighs> yep, turning around right here. I had no choice. Well, this will be easy. I don't even have to paddle going downriver if I don't want to. Yeah, not the right time of year to head upriver from Grafton. I am just cruising now. So the reason I was freaked out about the current um, on the Wisconsin River and not here, uh, first of all, I can see the bottom. I'm literally in probably a foot and a half of water. So if I were to capsize, I'm not too worried. Uh, I'm also not near as isolated as I was the other day when I was at um, the Dells. It's a beautiful day. There's people all over the place. That turtle was huge. I finally was able to sneak up on him and I have no idea what kind of turtle it was, but that guy had to be 10, 12 inches in diameter. So I wasn't quick enough again and the thing just swam an inch from my boat. And I'm reasonably sure it was a snapping turtle. This dude's head was like the size of my fist. I'm gonna wait and see if he comes back. on the Milwaukee River in the books. Did I accomplish what I set out to do this morning? Not even close. After about a mile and a half, two miles, the current was so strong, it was like being on a treadmill, going absolutely nowhere. I only paddled probably about five miles today. I did see the biggest damn snapping turtles I've ever seen in my life. They kind of spooked me a bit. They had necks, like the size of my wrist. I'm never quick enough to 
capture them on video or photographs, uh, but they were swimming right up to my boat and it kind of freaked me out. Still a great day on the water. I'm going home to eat dinner with my new fork.